Hi, all. Uh, today, um, today I will tell you about uh, another Kaggle competition. It's uh, Ashrae Great Energy Predictor uh, 3. Uh, so, the, what is the Ashrae? Ashrae is the American Society of uh, Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers, and they um, sponsored this uh, competition to. Um, uh, uh, to understand uh, if the situation becomes uh, better or not. Um, as they said uh, in the description of the competition, significant investments are being made to improve building efficiencies to reduce cost and uh, emissions. Uh, and the question is, uh, uh, are the improvements uh, working? So the competition goal was to, it is uh, the regression problem and we need uh, to predict uh, four uh, main uh, meters. It's the chilled water, uh, which is the uh, same with uh, like uh, cold water, is a hot water, uh, electric, and uh, uh, another electric is a stream meters. Uh, in Russian, we have it's uh, uh, like Paravaya uh, Energetika, but in uh, English, it's uh, like a stream, stream meter. Uh, the competition metric was uh, root mean square logarithmic error, which uh, is the same as the uh, usual uh, root mean square error, but using the logarithm. Uh, also, I would like to, uh, to introduce my team. Uh, it was uh, Thomas Yukota from United States, and all other participants are from Russia. It's uh, Akasayama, Alexander Polikov, uh, Sergey Bransky, and uh, me. Uh, we uh, finished this competition in uh, gold zone. Uh, our solution was a uh, big blend and stacking of regression models with uh, leak cro cross validation, and as a result, it's uh, 29th uh, place in public and uh, uh, 17th place in private uh, leaderboard. Uh, what was the data? Actually, in chain there was uh, quite a lot of data. It's like 19 million uh, rows with uh, 1,500 1, buildings and four uh, meters. And in test, there were even more. It's like 42. Uh, million rows uh, from same building, for, but for different period of time. Uh, so there was a, a three main part of the data. It's uh, weather data, uh, building metadata about the year of the uh, of the building, uh, other information, their main uh, occupation, like it's a building for education or it's a building for commercial things, uh, and also meters usage uh, data, which uh, show us the uh, uh, these four meters, which as I already said about it before. Uh, and uh, all this data was um, uh, connected uh, in a three year time frame, which was splitted between a uh, chain and uh, test by time, time split. Um, I will start with the preprocessing of the data because it's the main uh, part of the uh, solution for this competition because the data was. Um, uh, quite tricky, and we need to uh, handle it some way to get the good result uh, in this competition. So, the first we need to do is to uh, remove animals for some building. As you see in the uh, uh, in the first graph for building uh, uh, as a, for for a full data set, the data is have a lot of peaks, which are unusual. And if we, for example, remove building uh, ten. 99, which I think the animal is uh, just uh, some data which is not uh, true, maybe some uh, problem with the data, some with metadata or something like this, uh, some bugs with the meters. And if we exclude this uh, building, uh, we see that uh, the data set becomes, uh, um, becomes better. We can see it in the, in the second graph. Uh, the second step of the preprocessing, we uh, add holidays because we had the timestamp we could connect them to the American uh, holidays as a New Year, uh, day before New Year, Independence Day, Christmas uh, Day, Christmas, and Boxing Day. Also, uh, we uh, fix square feet for building uh, for some buildings, like 150 and 106, uh, and for site uh, zero, and uh, added new features: uh, square uh, feet per floor. Because for some buildings there was uh, the square uh, um, in some other uh, uh, units, so we need to 
uh, normalize them uh, for, the, for the same. Uh, also, we uh, fixed uh, weather time mapping by turning time to local uh, for each ID because there was time in, uh, in the uh, local time and we need to connect to, uh, to the weather time which was the uh, uh, same for all the data. Uh, someone uh, in this competition don't uh, do it and uh, it uh, gave them the very tricky data and uh, worse score as a result. Um, as a five step of preprocessing, we added exponential weighted average for air temperature for day, week, and uh, month. Um, and it gives us a more uh, stable graph for weather uh, over days. Also, we impute uh, missing weather data with mean or the closed uh, periods. So if uh, some data for weather was missed, we uh, imputed it with the closest, with the uh, with the same period of uh, with the same period of, uh, before some uh, interval or after it. Uh, also, we added uh, some interesting feature features. It's like uh, relative humidity, like in Russian, it's относительная uh, влажность, and uh, uh, like uh, feels like temp uh, feature. It's a uh, uh, Temperature uh, using the library Meteo Calc. So, uh, feels like temperature is a temperature which is uh, equivalent perceived by humans caused by combined effects of temperature, relative humidity, and wind uh, speed. Uh, because uh, people use electricity uh, when the weather is bad, so it was very important to understand what is the bad weather for people. Also, we added uh, the simple timestamp features like uh, time trend range or every hour and map timestamp to dict well of the range and uh, order to understand the, uh, each period for each uh, building. Because if the first week of the, uh, for some building uh, was uh, uh, like 1st January and for other building was an act, uh, other, uh, uh, other uh, day of the uh, week, so we just mapped them to, to have the same uh, periods. Also, we added the group. It's a, a quarter number of timestamp uh, for, uh, for uh, cross-validation split, as I will see, as we will see uh, in the next slides. Uh, also, it's important to say about our training pipeline. Uh, we had, in this competition, we had training set and leak set. Leak set was scrapped from, uh, uh, from different uh, sources in the public internet. Uh, and we, uh, uh, we, can, we could use it in so, uh, some way. So we uh, uh, apply our preprocessing to train data and we got two uh, sets. It's train set without leak and train set with leak. I tested a lot of models with uh, training set and we've combined it leak, but it gives us a bad correlation with uh, leaderboard, and we decided to just remove it. So for all our models, we used the training set without any leak in the training step. Uh, as a cross validation, we used uh, group Kafols uh, by quarters uh, with uh, future selection. Uh, and uh, we prepared uh, around uh, 14 light GBM, 25 cat boost models and nine XG boost model. Uh, so for each model, we prepared uh, different feature selection. It's like a different uh, uh, combination, like a light GBM with cat boost uh, feature importance selection features, uh, like XG, XG boost with uh, Baruta features selector, and etc. So after that, we uh, use uh, uh, very famous techniques like uh, linear regression stacking, weighted average ensembling, and um, also we choose uh, some best single models which show us the best result. After that, we uh, make we made the final blend using the leak. So we make the prediction for all our models on a leak uh, and uh, and uh, find the parameters which give us a better score on a, uh, on a leak. Like we, for, uh, 
for example, we have four predictions and we know that if we will take weight like uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and 0 0.125 and so, so on, we will get the better score, the best score. So we use these parameters for a final prediction for a test in the uh, private set. So this, uh, um, this strategy gave us the uh, 0, uh, 90, 43 in public and uh, 1 dog uh, 244 on private set. Uh, it was our solution, but I would like also to say about solution from uh, interesting parts of solution from different, uh, from other participants. Uh, actually, in first place, uh, they used uh, Savitsky Golay filter, which allows them to get the air temperature um, graph uh, uh, more smooth. Uh, so it helps them to train models without any, uh, uh, without uh, data which just uh, gives some noise. Also, uh, if you will, uh, will be researching about this solution more, uh, I, I'm, I want to um, advise you to read about uh, second place solution because they use uh, interesting outlier clearing process and they gave us the understanding why they are doing it and why it is working. It's very interesting, I, I advise you to read it. Also the good idea was from uh, fifth place uh, because they added interesting target features. Actually, in all such competitions, uh, target encoding is uh, leaky because it gives you some advantage, which uh, usually give you the worst score on the data set which you uh, have not seen before. Uh, but in this, it was very uh, interesting and it gave them the great uh, advantage. It's like the first feature, it's um, for each building they uh, calculated uh, fives and 95 percentile of values and added it to, to the training set. And also they added the uh, proportion uh, of weekdays features for each building and meter. Like um, how for some building, uh, how much energy for some meter was uh, spent uh, on Sunday, Monday and etc. If you have any questions or uh, comments, please ask. Thanks for the talk. Uh, the first question is, what hardware did you use? MacBook or something better? Uh, I have a uh, very uh, strong uh, PC. It's like a, a 16, uh, uh, 16 cores processor and like uh, 96 uh, gigabytes of uh, RAM. So it's uh, pretty enough for, for this competition. Any other questions? Hello, I'd like to ask about your cross-validation strategy. What do you mean by cross-validation by quotas? Does it mean that you have like four folds on? Uh, we used group k folds by quota. Quota, is it a variable in data set? Uh, what do you mean by quota? Is it like you split all the data set uh, in four like, parts? You know, we have the data like timestamp uh -huh. uh, and some other features. And we used uh, the quota from this timestamp and then used group k folds validation by quota. Any other questions? No? Then uh, thanks for the talk. Uh, let's give it the speaker.